quite massive. It's made of solid steel. And this car ran in the Philadelphia area mm -hmm. down to Westchester. Mm -hmm. And was, you know, it was like a cross between a city car. It wasn't a true inner urban, but it did not run on city streets. It had its own right of way and stopped at stations. And basically the way this car worked, that was the large center door. That's when the passengers got on and off through the center door. And the operator would sit in compartment at either end of the car. And what we were able to do with cars like this was they could run them as two car trains. And that saved them a good bit of money. Because you only need three people. One conductor for each car and one operator. The twin brother of this car, 66, is a fully operational car that we have here at the museum. Unfortunately, it's in the shop now for some steel restoration work. This car is not operational. 66 is. If you've ever been out here, anyone here for Santa Trolley? We do an event in December, uh, starting Thanksgiving called Santa Trolley, where Santa Claus rides with the kids. If we use 66, we get 60 people on the car to ride and talk to us. So we do, if you have a branch or whatever, we do a very unique uh, Christmas event called Santa Trolley. It's the only place in the, that we know of in the country where you ride a streetcar and Santa gets on the car and talks to every single kid on the car. It's our most popular event. We sell it out every year. We sell tickets online. We pretty much sell out every run. Our biggest challenge in running the event is getting people to play Santa. Mm -hmm. I found out because I am the newest Santa. <laughs> for the first time. Very interesting. The world's only Jewish Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> This is a milk farm. Again, back in the early days, the farmers had to get their milk from 